Hey, 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 Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I wish you love, peace and light, abundant blessings, prosperity, kindness, happiness. Oh yes, joy, wonderful joy. On this channel, you only have to give me a thumbs up if I'm resonating with you. I've got a bit of a sore throat, but we're going to jump straight into this love reading. You can call it a love reading. It picks up on two energies. Three questions. First question is how you're viewing each other. Second question is what you want from each other. And the third question is where you believe it's going. So, two energies, okay? Try to work out which energy is yours. Because most certainly Gemini 1 is going to be yours, alright? And again, you only have to give me a thumbs up. If I resonate with y'all, we like to keep it real round here, okay? <laughs> so, first energy. Someone's viewing this either you, Gemini, or how you're viewing your person. Uh, look, this is like, although we've come to the end of the road, someone, someone's, you know, they're, they're being viewed as like, okay, you've had enough of me, or maybe you're done with me, um, you're leaving me. But in fact, this person still thinks about you or is still, still not hundred percent about leaving. This is also very protective. Someone might be viewing somebody here as very protective and and they got like a big, huge defense mechanism, right? Overprotective, protective, whatever way you want to call it. The second energy and how they're viewing them is quite secretive, I think, with the, the moon card here. I think someone's viewing somebody here as quite secretive um, or you know why why have you come into my life what is what are you what is your purpose you know um i feel like it's quite i wouldn't say dark energy it's like what's going on behind closed doors energy um someone's viewing somebody here as maybe you know it's in the back of their mind maybe someone feels a bit frustrated um and you know there's something in the back of your mind gemini or their mind you know the kind of like someone's maybe kind of suppressing their feelings and that's how they're being viewed someone's viewing somebody here is kind of like oh you're in you don't love me i know you love me you'll say it but you know yeah you get what i'm trying to say <laughs> second and someone said to me oh um it's all a bit wishy-washy well this is tarot i can't give you preciseness i can give you energies um and the way people are kind of behaving the theme whether there's perhaps, you know, dark energy, light energy, infidelity, that sort of stuff, right? So what you want, Ace of Wands, somebody wants, you know, to live their freaking life. <laughs> Ace of Wands, new beginnings. Someone wants to start afresh. It could be with this connection. It could be on their own journey, okay? But this is shedding the old to bring the new. This is about enjoying life, um, being adventurous as well, right? So somebody just wants to freaking enjoy life, be more adventurous and, and go for it. Somebody wants to just go for it. The other energy, somebody wants mutual respect, Gemini. So that's either you or the other energy. But someone's definitely wanting respect, a mutual respect, a mutual understanding. Maybe someone's wanting to love themselves more. Maybe someone's wanting the other person to love themselves more. But this is this is a deeper connection. Maybe someone wants a deeper connection. Maybe someone's not emotionally available right now. Or maybe you are or they are, but they're not giving much away. Okay, well, this is what somebody wants. They want that mutual respect. They want something deeper, something real that bond and sometimes in life you know we become emotionally unavailable and we, and we have to work on ourselves or we just don't want to be with somebody do you know what i mean gems where they believe it's going king of swords this is about being pre precise this is about determination this is about you know speaking your truth regardless of what other people um 
however they may feel about it. It's about being precise, direct, not taking um, no BS, right? No bullshit. It's very intellectual. Let's have a communication. If we're going to have a conversation, let it be um, a proper conversation, proper communication, because I'll be direct with you. I'll be precise with you. It's whether you can handle it or not. That's what I'm getting, okay? Um, and then someone believes that, you know, they may be pushed away. Let's clarify this. Seven of ones, please. Um, yeah, they feel like they're going to be pushed away. Um, they believe that they have to protect themselves. Someone believes that they have to protect themselves. They want to stay in control. Someone believes that they need to stay in their power. You know, they have to protect themselves in order to feel like they are in control. Um, this is power as well. And this could be like someone believes they're going to get what they want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I said it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know what's up. Because I always, you know, I reply to people. Three of Wands. Abundance. Things looking very good. This is an angel card. It doesn't have to resonate with this love reading abundance Gemini things are looking very good have patience at this time and make long-term plans this is forward thinking this is looking to the future the emperor again has jumped out the organization and logic is what you need to use in order to get the power structure and discipline leadership okay so this may be the other energy or this could be you, you know, wanting one of you wanting to get more organized using your logic. Or maybe that is what angels are suggesting that you need to do. And you need to bring more structure and discipline in your life in order to to gain the power that you want, in order to get what you want. Right. Bottom of the deck, King of Swords. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice and balance mental and emotional considerations. Sorry, the camera there. Right? That's the King of Swords. Fucking hell. Ace of Wands next. An exciting new opportunity. Career advancement. Change your life now. Oh, rad, babies. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you found it somewhat insightful. Um, in the description box below, I have a five-minute read on Twin Flame Energies and the Seven Stages to have your Twin Flame reunion. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then just go and read it. Go and read it before you go to bed on your lunch break, whatever. Um, and what else was I going to say? Yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, go ahead and do so. This Sunday, I plan to go live and do live tarot. Usually, it's um, you have to pay membership, but I'm just going to promote that on Sunday and talk about that on Sunday. If this is the last time I see you, then this is the last time I see you. Love, peace and light. Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you. All right, Gem Gems, love, peace and light. And I'll catch you on the rebound. Bye.